A piece of advice that I hear people give all the time is that you shouldn't get last minute necessities on Walt Disney World property. You should make your way out into town and buy them from a local store because they'll be more affordable. Today I want to talk a little bit about that and I happen to be going to a local grocery store. So perfect opportunity to take you along and have this conversation. So doors unlocked, jump in, let's go. Now don't get me wrong, I get it. Conventional wisdom says that buying things from a vacation destination is going to make them more expensive, whatever it is that you're trying to get your hands on. But are you factoring in all the costs, especially the costs of getting wherever it is that you need to be, which is something that people often forget about. Now this, the cost of getting us where we need to be, isn't something that we need to concern ourselves with, and not too much if we're driving ourselves, but if you're like so many of the people who don't drive a car to Walt Disney World or rent one when you get here, this is something that you're gonna need to figure into the cost. Now, there are a lot of different ways to go about this. You can get a taxi. Most people are taking a ride share. And if you're going to take a ride share, generally speaking, depending on where you're going and where you're coming from, of course, it's going to cost you anywhere from 10 to $15 per trip. So one way to get to whatever store you're aiming to get yourself to, which means a total of an additional 20 to $30 on top of whatever it is that you're spending to buy that thing. And this, this point right here is where so many people go wrong because they think to themselves, well, I don't want to buy the overpriced merchandise that's sold at my hotel. I know I can save a ton of money if I just go to a Walmart or a local grocery store. Yes, maybe, especially if you were back home, you were driving yourself, but how do you feel about adding 20 to $30 on top of the amount of money that you're going to be paying for that thing. All of a sudden, paying a little bit more for that product doesn't necessarily seem so bad, does it? And so, if we're gonna do the math and make sure that it makes sense for us to head out into town to get whatever it is that we need, we have to think about a few things. Mainly, how much money are we actually gonna save by going out in town by leaving Walt Disney World and paying that $10, $15 each way to get what it is that we need. Now everyone has a different way of doing things and everyone's opinion on this is going to be different, but I personally think that we need to make sure that we're saving significantly more than it's going to cost us to get where we're going in order to make it worth getting a ride share. Because I mean, otherwise, what's What's the point? Which is usually why I avoid recommending going this route unless you're going out to get like a full load of groceries, which isn't a bad idea. I mean, we've talked about this before, making sure that you're bringing snacks with you and whatnot can be a great way to save money. But unless you're gonna be spending a significant amount of money and therefore saving a significant amount of money, I really, really don't think that it's worth getting a ride share, taking the time to do that, paying that price just so that you can save a few bucks on something that you could have purchased at your resort. Now, since I'm recommending that you get your stuff at your hotel, what kind of stuff does your hotel have? Honestly, everything you could need. We're talking everything from medicine to earplugs, bug spray to sunscreen. If you're gonna need it on vacation, you can buy it at your resort hotel. And if you can't find it at your resort hotel, you can probably find it at one of the Disney Vacation Club resorts, which are really easy to access when you're visiting the theme parks. And if you're having a resort day or you just wanna grab something real quick, you can do that with Disney's free transportation without having to really go too far out of your way and it can be really fun to explore other resorts so that's a great option too so it's a good way to get what you need but also stay in vacation mode you know of course when it comes to t-shirts leggings shorts you can easily get that at Walt Disney World not only at the souvenir shops or even at your resort but you can get that at Disney Springs if you're looking for something a little less Disney and a little more average you can get that at places like Uniqlo great options available there for affordable prices 
but you can also find bathing suits and water shoes and Crocs. I know that they're not for everybody, but they do the job if you need a pair of shoes right now. Native shoes are another great option that are available. I know they're not for everyone, but I do have a pair and they do do the job. Socks are available, underwear is available, sports bras are available. You can literally get everything you need without having to go out in town. Is it going to be perfect? No. Is it going to get the job done? Yes. But here's the thing. This is something that I really want to make sure that I'm hammering home because I know a lot of people, they end up becoming victim of this illusion of savings. Just because it seems like it'll be more affordable to go a route doesn't necessarily mean that it will be. Now we're gonna get more into this in another discussion, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that, but it's important to make sure you're crunching the numbers, not only when you're planning your vacation, but also when you're here. These little things, like taking a ride share to go get toothpaste, that's the type of thing that's going to add up real quick. And I know what you're thinking, no one does that, but they do. So make sure you're paying attention, make sure you're crunching numbers and realizing that you can get everything that you need on property. Of course, there are other options. You can have things delivered, so on and so forth, but there are costs that come with that as well. So be aware of it and make sure you're making smart purchases. But that's all for now. Thanks for joining me on this little jaunt. I know I didn't take you into Publix. I had a list of things that I needed to get, so I wanted to focus on that. And I also wanted to give you the attention you deserved, so. Anyway, as always, make sure you hit that like button if you liked this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. We have conversations like this all the time. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye, guys.